The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. to see what we're doing today on Creation is Science. Are you folks ready? Yes. yes. I am. And so what are we going to be learning today? Well, we're going to be looking at water in a different way. Huh. Yeah. I think you have to do a little more explaining. But first, let okay. me introduce Logan, Sarai, Sam, and Alexander. Are you folks really excited? Yes. yes. Water in a different way. I have no idea what he's talking about. Yeah, water, water. Uh, can somebody <laughs> tell me what's another name for water? H2O. H2O, H2O. H2O. And the H stands for what? Hydrogen. Hydrogen. And the little two stands for what? Two, because there's two hydrogen. Right. It's two hydrogen atoms. And what does the O stand for? Oxygen. Oxygen. Good That's job. right. That's interesting, <laughs> isn't it? So what I have in this little jar is I have water. And I mixed a little salt with it. Okay, it's a type of a salt. And it's a canning jar. And we put fruits and vegetables in a canning jar in order to enjoy them at another time or another mm -hmm. season. What we're going to do is we're going to try to get the hydrogen and the oxygen out of the water. You know how we can do that? How? We're going to be using some electricity. That's, that's going to be cool, isn't it? We have two wires inside of that, and uh, well, I'm going to hook up my battery charger. I have a little battery charger right here. I'm going to hook the battery charger up. We're going to put 12 volts of direct current right into our water, okay? So I'm going to put this on right here. Could you turn that switch on for me right here? She can do that. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Do we right. need our safety glasses? Okay. Okay, turn it on. There we go. Hey, can you see some little bubbles oh. right there? Oh my God. Well, what are, what are those little bubbles, do you think? Hydrogen and oxygen. They're hydrogen and oxygen bubbles. Now, two thirds of those bubbles happen to be hydrogen. One third of those bubbles happens to be oxygen because it's H2O, right? We have, we have more hydrogen than oxygen. So each of those gases are forming these little bubbles right here. And you know what we got? Hey, would you blow a bubble for us? Can you oh, blow a bubble? You want me to blow yeah, a bubble? Yeah, let's blow a bubble. Ooh, let's there you see go. If I can do it. There you go, a bubble. So each one of those bubbles in, in there is going to have rocket fuel in it. So we're gonna change water into rocket fuel. So that should be interesting. Now I'm gonna take this hose right here, I'm gonna put it right into my bubble mix. This is the bubble mix that you were, okay. you, this is bubble mix, uh -huh. and there's bubble mix in there. So we wanna blow a bunch of bubbles in, that, in this water right here. Actually, it's the bubble mix. Uh-oh, what's happening? All right, you have your safety glasses? Uh, we're not Thank doing you. that. Thank you. Oh, there it goes. Can you see the bubbling? It's bubbling, see that? Cool. So each one of those bubbles has rocket fuel in it. Interesting. You know, when Jesus created water, he created it with a tremendous amount of power. And in fact, you can go to school and you can get a degree studying water. Did you know that? You could get a PhD wow. in just studying water because it's so interesting. It's so complicated. You know that water has a memory. How many of you have a memory? Do you have a memory? Yes. I have a memory. You all have a memory? Yeah. Well, water yeah. also has a memory. In fact, water remembers where it has been. Isn't that interesting? We remember where we've been. Sometimes. Water has what? I, I have heard that scientists have said that they have a picture and then they put water over that picture and it keeps that image like it, it water remembers has a little memory. That's right. Kind water, of interesting. Right. Water remembers what has been put in it, like even flowers, like you That's, were talking about pictures. That's kind of interesting to me. So water, we can make rocket fuel out of it. You know, that's kind of why scientists are very interested in maybe going to another planet or maybe something like Mars. You know, we're talking about traveling mm -hmm. to Mars. Well, are there polar ice caps on Mars? Yeah. <laughs> yes, there's polar ice caps on Mars. So if we have ice, that means that we can make rocket fuel out of water ice, can't we? Yeah. Yeah, we could go ahead and we can take that ice and we can make rocket fuel just like we're making rocket fuel out of this water right here. 
Now, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take my little match stick right here. I'm going to burn those bubbles. But before I do that, I'm going to take this away. We're going to turn off the electricity, but it's going to be loud because it's going to sound just like a firecracker. OK, so get ready to cover your ears with your hands. Don't put your fingers in. Just cover your like this. OK, so go ahead and turn that off for me. Can you turn that off? Can you turn that off? Can you turn this off for me? <laughs> there we go. There you go, off so it goes out. There you go. We're going to move this way over there. I'm not, I can't put my hands on my ears, so I'm going to put these on my ears. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, it's going to yeah. be really loud, and you're going to have to give me a countdown. Are we ready? Ready. Okay, all right, let's try our count. Let's go. Three, Three two, two, one, one. and, and. Woo. <laughs> Whoa, did you hear that? Did you hear that? I, yeah. What was that? An explosion. It was an explosion. We had rocket fuel. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, now, water. Now, <laughs> now what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a rocket outside, but we're not going to use rocket fuel like we did this right here, or even using liquid nitrogen because we've done that before as well. But we're going to be using water, the same water that you and I are going to drink. By the way, would you like to have that happen when you get a drink of water, a big explosion in your mouth? No. No. Well, maybe we would drink more water because it would be kind of, you know, it'd be more interesting. Interesting, wouldn't it, to have an explosion in your mouth? But we do need water, don't we? We've got to have the water. Okay, so we're gonna. We've. I think we set up some rockets outside, and we're gonna really? show you how you can actually make a rocket by using very simple things that you might have at home. Would that be exciting? All right, that's <laughs> All good. Right, so let's go. bring your safety glasses. We're All gonna right, need bring our safety, safety glasses. glasses. Let's we're gonna go out. Let's head on out. Yeah. Right, let's go. Here we go. I see some bottles. I don't know if they're going to be going up in the Oops, air. Come on over here, Sarai. <laughs> So tell us what we're going to be doing here. Well, what we want to do is we want to make a rocket. Okay, we're going to make a rocket. In fact, I'm going to show you how you can make a little rocket. You can actually do this at home, all right? And let's see, I've got, uh, wanted, can you pull up that ro the far rocket launch? Just pull that one up and just bring it over here, okay? So we've got a little launcher. We're going to show you the parts of this thing, okay? So, so in order to do that, just hang on to that for a minute, okay? Another thing that we're going to need is we're going to need a tire pump. Okay. And this is like a bicycle tire pump, right? Uh -huh. And you might have that at home, right? They come in different sizes and some are, some are on the ground and you use your foot, right? And so when you push this, that shoots air through this hose. And where do we want to put that air, you think? Here, the bottle. Yeah, we want to put it in the bottle, okay? <laughs> so we're going to use bottles. Our bottles are going to be our rockets, okay? Now you can notice that we put some fins on there so it kind of gives it some guidance, right? Uh -huh. Without fins, then it might just go crazy, right? So we don't want it to go crazy. And so these are two liter bottles, but you can use one liter bottle, you can use three liter bottles, it's up to you. And then we put a little water in here. Now, does, is the water important? Yeah. Well, that's going to be that's going to be part of our fuel. Okay, so let's see let's see what could happen right here. Take this and empty the water out. Just pour the water out. Okay, we're going to try to make a rocket without putting water in there. Let's see what happens to that. Okay, there you go. You wasted that precious oh, water. Put it out in front. <laughs> here we go. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Now you'll notice that for our little container right here, our carrier, our rocket launcher, we got a little stopper right here. All right, it's made out of some rubber but if it's made out of cork or something. And so this will press down in there like that. And I'm just going to kind of screw it in there, just press it in. Do I have any water in there? No. No, no. So let's just try to use some air. Shall we just try to use some air? Okay, yeah. Okay, all right, so go ahead. Here we go. We're going to put this back. You want to put this back for me? You want to put this back for me? Sure. Okay, all right, here we go. Just put that back. Here we go. Somebody bring the pump. Bring on the pump. That's right. It. Okay, here we go. We're going to connect the pup, and who's going to be the one? Who's going to be the one to blow it up for us? Okay, here we go. Who's going to do that? Wanna do I'll do it. Okay, she can do it. Come on over here. Here we go. Hang on to the handle. Put your feet on there. Put your feet on there. Hang on to the handle, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to hook this up. <laughs> here we go. We're going to hook our pump up to our bottle, okay? Do we have any water in the bottle? Let's move back a little bit. We don't want to be that close to it. Keep moving back. Right about there. Put your feet on there. Okay. All right. No water, right? 
Yeah. We're just going to use air pressure. Okay, so start to pump. That should work. Start to pump. Oh, no, That's right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Faster, Keep faster, going. faster, oh, no. faster. <laughs> we don't want to go too fast. Oh, not too fast. Don't want to go too fast. We want to be in control. Here we go. That's Keep true. going. Keep pumping. You can do it. Keep going. Good job, so Keep going. Pump. 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 There you go. Keep going. Keep going. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of air pressure in that bottle. We got our safety glasses on. That's a good thing. And if we were watching that bottle, the bottle's getting bigger because there's pressure inside of it and it's making going bigger and bigger and bigger. Are you getting tired? Okay. All right. Who's going to take over? You want to take over? Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Let's jump, jump to pump. Here we go. Put your feet on there. Keep pumping. Move back a little bit. Move back a little bit. There we go. Let's pump it. Pump and pump. And Give pump. you 50 glass pump. pump. It is pump. going to go, is it? It's not going to go? <laughs> well, I, I have faith in you. Come on, Sam. Wow. <laughs> Alexander, my help. Go ahead, go ahead. Wow. I don't know. Maybe our pump's not working. What do you think? I think it's the bottle that's not working. Okay. All right. Hang on to that. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to let this, I'm going to unhook this. All right. So let's try to unhook that. Okay. There we go. Wow. I don't know. Let's see what we got. Uh, we're going to leave that right there. Okay. The because there may be pressure in there. But we don't want that to blow up on us. Okay. Here we go. Can you feel any air coming out of there? Yeah. It sounded like it. Nope. No, okay. Oh, very, very little. Let's okay, all right. Let, let's put the pump over there. Here we go. All right. What about this one? Let's see what we got. Yeah, we're going to, well, well, just keep that here. Just keep that there. All right, let's keep that there. Let's see what we got. And no, we don't have much pressure in there at all. Here we go. Just a tiny little pressure. All right. So here we go. Let's hook this one up. All right. All right. Okay, we've used this one before. Move back a little bit. Okay. No, go ahead. Pump, yeah, pump, pump. Thing. You're doing good. Pump that. Pump. There you go. There you go. Just, there you go. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Didn't go very high, did it? No. So, yeah, go ahead and retrieve that. All right. Okay. So, let's try some water, right? All right. So, all we were using, come on back. So, all we were using was air pressure. Okay. Yeah. So, what we've got, we've got this bottle right here. We have some water in it. And that water is going to be under pressure. We're going to put air in here. And that water is what? It has a lot of force and it's going to make this bottle go up into the air. Okay, so who is who is our next person? We're going to do that one. Okay, hang on to that. Here we go. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and seal this up. Now we're going to use water and air, right? Water and air. Let's see if it goes higher. Do you think it'll go higher? Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to find out. Okay, let's move back a little bit. Right. There we go. Oh, look at that. You can, oh, oh my, oh my. Did it go higher? Yeah. Yes, we had a lot more force, a lot more force. Okay, who's going to do the next one? All right. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay, all right. Let's try one. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. Right. Here you let's go. put Get this ready, on ready. here. Here we go. We got the next one going. All right, let's hook this up. All right. All right, here we go. It's about time for one more. Come okay, all right, let's move back. There we go. Let's start putting. You can do it. Go ahead and pump, pump it. Pump. Look at that. Pump. Look at all the pump. air going in there. Pump, pump. We're building up pump. a lot of water. Oh! You know, it went over there. How cool is that? Okay, we're going to retrieve that one. We're going to retrieve that one. Yep. I think it's time for our Bible tag. Okay, all right. Who wants to help me read it? You want to help me read it, Alexander? Yeah. And it's Ephesians 3, 17. Can you read it for us? That Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love. Ephesians 3, 17. I'm thinking of when we were building up pressure, who gives us the energy to build up and do something great for others? Jesus. You're right. And so when we have Jesus in our hearts, then we have the energy to witness to other people. Don't you want to live for Jesus today? Yeah. yeah. And we want you to live for Jesus and share that energy that he gives you that we can only find in his word. Thanks for joining us on Creation is Science.